Hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very short but useful video of today. In recent time I have been receiving so many emails related to uh, how to include, how to add controllers to the synchronous machine uh, using uh, Dixie and Power Factory. So I received so many emails about this that I decided to create a very simple video showing you the simplest way to do that. However, I must, I must be clear and honest, and this video is not a substitute of the formal knowledge and the formal learning. So this video here is no intended to substitute the formal courses that you can take in Dixilen, and also, I know intended to, um, this video is not intended to um, be the main primary source of information because if you are attending to one university, your primary source of information and the primary contact must be your academic leader inside the classroom. So today the plan is the following. Today, I will show you uh, how to add um, a very simple governor to a synchronous machine. And the starting point of this video today is, well, you can go to my GitHub repository. You can find this GitHub repository. It's very simple. It's GitHub slash FGLongatLab. So over there, you will see that there is a folder that is my Dixil and Power Factory. And basically over there, I put several of the projects that I created over the years. And this, and this, uh, in this case, you can, you can have access to different projects over there. Today, I am using the, one of the projects created three years ago inside this time domain RMS. If you go inside, there are several projects over there and I will go for this one that is the number three and the name is Test System Single Machine Infinity Boss Time Domain, okay? Uh, what you need to do is click over here and then there are three buttons on the top uh, right hand side so over there, what you need to do is basically press download and that will go into your computer. When you finish downloading this file, what you need to do is import into the Excellent Power Factory. And now we are here inside Power Factory and you can see this very simple system. There is a synchronous machine here on the left hand side, a step up transformer, two transmission lines, 232 kV, going to an infinity boost bar. First step, I will run just the load flow. And running the load flow is just to check the numerical results over here because I have been using this uh, system for more than three years in different applications. So if you want to learn more and see how I create this, how did I create this? So go into uh, my YouTube channel and there are different uh, uses for this and different explanation for this system, okay? So um, one of the typical question is that the student double click in the element synchronous machine and they can see that there is no plant model. So the classical question is, how do I add the plant model? So inside Power Factory, there are different ways to do the same. However, I found that the most simple, the straightforward way to do it is just basically select the synchronous machine, then right bottom, and then you go here into uh, network models. And you can see that now you are able to add existation system, governors and turbine, power system stabilizers, and so on. So what I will do today is I will add the most simple one. I will add a governor. When you press that, power factory open, directly open something similar to the uh, data manager and I will go here to the global library inside Power Factory. When we go inside the global library, you can see that is located at the top. 
There are several folders over there inside dynamic models like DSL, FAX, HBDC, and so on. And then I will go inside this folder about synchronous generator power plants. And today I will use one model created by my friends and colleagues from Power Factory, Dixieland Power Factory. So I will go here inside governors and turbine engines and I will select this one that is the gas turbine, okay? So mm, the first thing that I must to tell you is if you are using version 2017 or 2021 or 2024, of course, the windows and the locations and the names, they can be slightly different. So please be careful with that, okay? Now I select here the governor and Power Factory is doing a lot of things behind the screen for you. One of the things is that they are creating automatically this DSL model, and this DSL model is coming from a graphical representation of the governor and turbine. Here you can see on the right hand side, you have all the parameters of this turbine, and I will say, okay, I, will want, I want to use this model and those parameters. Then Power Factory will create for you this composite model, and this composite model is based in this frame over here. You can see that the name is Frame Synchronous Generator, and I will select here the diagram because I want to show you as well the diagram. So right now, as you can see, I press OK over here and going back to the network. If I double click here in the synchronous machine, you will see that Power Factory has, do, uh, has done a lot of things um, to you, basically creating the composite model and connecting the synchronous machine with the gas turbine and all of that based on this very specific uh, frame. And also you, are, uh, you added the gas turbine and the parameters also created everything from Power Factory, okay? So what I want to tell you is that Power Factory has spent a lot of time creating first this governor over here. You can see that this is a, a governor. This is a simplified gas turbine governor model. You can see over here the inputs, rotational speed and rotational reference. You can see over here the active power reference. You can see here the output that is the mechanical power and some blocks diagram representing what we know as the governor model. And over here, you can see that this is the frame. This is the frame used to connect the different controllers inside the, uh, with the synchronous machine. You can see here one block and the name of this block is generator. This slot is where we install the elements synchronous machine. And over here, you will find controllers. And in those controllers, you can see that they are different type of controller like the under excitation limiter or the over excitation or the state of current limiter and so on. OK, something that you must understand is in version 2024, the framework is slightly different to the oldest version. So be aware of that, especially when you are adding the uh, voltage uh, controller, the exciter, because the new version of Power Factory require a model for the voltage transducer and the compensation. However, again, the main message over here is please learn about DSL, learn about dynamic simulation language, okay? So I will close those models over here. And finally, we are coming back to the power network. In this power network, you can see that we have the plant model over here with the gas turbine connected to the synchronous machine. And what I will do is basically running initial conditions. And in this case, we have two, uh, we have two uh, events over here one false and one even clearing the fault. However, both of them, they are out the service because I want to run over here just a plain flat uh, time domain simulation. So you can see over here that the rotational speed of the synchronous machine is one per unit as expected. 
and it's a straight line, horizontal straight line, because we don't have any disturbance over here. And you can see that the angle uh, is 13.88, and that is basically the angle of this synchronous machine. There are no changes in this time domain series because basically we don't have any events, okay? So uh, again, I introduce to you the most or the simplest way to, uh, to add a governor to a synchronous machine. However, what is the main message over here? The main message over here is that you need to learn DSL, the Excellent Simulation Language. Well, this is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.